Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. Yes, I said it right now. It's 2017, not 2015. Because I kept thinking of the, um... Of Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. I can't help it. I have such a long series of that game that, um, I don't know. Whenever I say car, I mean, Mechanic Simulator, I automatically think of Car Mechanic Simulator. So that will have to change. Anyway, we have to change the electric motors this time around, which means we'll have to take apart quite a bit of um, this train over here. I've noticed actually that um, all of these trains that we've uh, worked on so far are pretty much identical underneath. Now, I haven't <clears throat> really paid much attention whether we've been towing the same type of train over and over, or if they just basically, you know, do all look pretty much the same underneath. Um, it's... The, the former is probably correct. Right, let's take the engine mounting off. We have to... Well, we might have to take the axle off as well, I'm not sure. But actually, the axle shouldn't be really keeping the thing from uh, detaching. Or maybe it would, I don't know. Right, the electric motor thingy, the drive gear, and now the... Ah! The shaft and the electric motor mounting brackets there we go yeah there's a lot of screws and you know you would uh you would expect that that's what i wanted to say last time and i forgot which is funny because now it's a new day and i'm still thinking about that previous episode what i wanted to say is oh look at that that's cool now obviously i don't know this is obviously copper because it's the coil but i don't know if it's supposed to be changed or not let's see no, 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 it's fine. It's quite good, actually. Uh, yeah, this is what I wanted to say last time, because I was talking about the steel and rubber springs. Um, was that it, actually? I think at the back as well. No, no, that's it. Um, there is a video on YouTube of someone putting a GoPro camera, I think, over here underneath somewhere. And you can see how much a train's... Um, uh, how much a train suspension has to work over time on a bad piece of track. It's insane! The train is going quite at speed, and it's just absolutely insane how much movement there is down there. You know, and thinking about how... Uh, oh, 15%, no, no, no. How, um, how much weight there is on those things, it, it's just ludicrous. Ooh, electric motor cover, okay. However, the uh, drive gear, unfortunately, is a little bit beyond us at the moment. Oh yeah, why am I even looking at this? It even tells you the chance every time. Before you even go uh, attempt to repair it. Wait, I don't have any stuff here. I need the electric bench. Uh, wait, I thought we took the motor off. Haven't we? Electric motor cover? Oh no, wait a second! Of course, you actually take apart the, the motor itself here. That's cool. Alright, so anyway, we need a uh, new drive gear, which is probably going to be quite expensive. Drive gear. There it is. 46,000! Oh, man. So, uh, people have commented about this, and indeed, I think they're right. Look, we're, we're this is how much budget we have, and this is how much we're paying for the uh, parts and you know this is how much we've spent on the train so if we do this we'll be six dollars over the limit over the budget which is kind of weird because I've repaired stuff but I have to buy this hmm that's odd so what happens now when we're over the budgets I mean we're obviously still gonna get paid but we're not getting any um no, 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 wait! Oh, no, disassembly mode! Oh, that was the electric motor rotor. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. You don't actually take off the entire motor. You take it apart. That is very cool. It's also cool to see just how big it is. Or, if you think about it, how small it is, considering, you know, what kind of weight it has to pull. Um, or push. Of course, there's there's more than one motor. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. One motor, motor on a train, but, um, yeah. It's pretty insane. Uh, Alright, the drive gear, please. The shiny new one, which has cost us a bloody fortune. Uh, wasn't there something else here? Hmm. Right, engine mounting. 
which we've repaired quite nicely. Yeah, I will have to uh, improve our workbenches, especially for the really expensive stuff like the... Uh, well, actually, no, this was mechanical and it was very expensive, so I don't know. Everything is very expensive on a train, I guess. There we go. I can center on that with F. I was like, follow you! Alright. I do wonder what's next. And remember, we're only working on diesel electrics at the moment. We still haven't touched the electrics or the steam engines. Now that's gonna be really cool. Oh man, can you imagine if we were allowed to take apart the entire boiler of a steam engine? I seriously doubt they would allow us to do that because, I mean... I don't even think that's completely possible without a major, major overhaul. I'm talking about a complete rebuild. Let's see. Uh, wait a second. What? I was still within the budget? I was within the budget. But... Why did it tell me when I was... When I was getting parts that I would be... I don't know. Anyway, let's finish this job. <clears throat> I'm sure, sure, sure someone will tell me. I must have missed something. Look at this. Actually, it is a different looking uh, engine. Look at all these fans for the diesel engines. Crazy. We did get a bit of a bonus for low cost. That's not bad. All right. So what's next? Uh, we've received a locomotive that has a problem running uphill. <laughs> it appears that the problem is with the main engine. Ooh, the diesel engine? The locomotive must be urgently repaired. It appears that the engine parts are damaged. Make the necessary repairs. Yeah, you don't have to rub it in, I know. Twice. <laughs> there we go. Well, um... There we go. Um, believe it or not, the trains are very bad at climbing uphill, actually. Because, specifically because of this uh, poor traction. You know, because of the, uh, the only traction they have is between the metal thin wheel and the metal rail. There's actually a very good video uh, James May did on that. Uh, you should probably look it up, just <coughs> just type in uh, type in YouTube, type uh, well, I can't speak apparently. Type James May uh, trains. I think you'll probably get the stuff. Right, so that valve cover is not too great. But why would that? Yeah, yeah, uh, that is not good. So, wow, this is the first time we're actually working on the... Um, on the actual diesel engine. Look at all these pistons, they all look horrible. But I'm pretty sure it's just these ones. What? No, it's not. So I'm guessing it's just... the combustion chamber cover. No. They all look horrible though, sort of. That's really interesting, they've got rocker arms... valve tappets, hydraulic throttle mechanism. That Oh, bloody hell, they're hydraulic? Interesting. Right, um... So that was the one thing, that was the cover. And there's three more things. Uh, all the covers are fine otherwise. Well, these ones look different, they look... They look new, but I'm guessing... They need to look rusty? <laughs> no. These are 98. These are all fine. Uh, right. As I said, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to what exactly can be wrong with these engines and what we need to fix. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit more using the testing tool. Hmm. Well, all, all of this looks fine. What about these cover handles? They're the same color as the, the rest. So yeah. Camshaft. Oh, is it a double? No, it's a single camshaft. Hmm. Uh, right. What about the flywheel? Doesn't look... No, 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 it's fine. Or the pulse generator? What in the... Bloody hell is that? Pulse generator? So all of these things are fine as well. <laughs> I'm kind of lost. This is cool. Um, Because in... in Wait a second. In Car Mechanic Simulator, you know, I pretty much know every time now what's wrong because I've played it so much. But here, I'm kind of lost. Well, you know what? Let's just take some of this stuff off to get a better view. 
I mean, it looks horrible to me because it almost looks that so rusty, but... Apparently it's fine. That's, wow, there's a lot of parts here. Look at that. Fuel hose connector. Com fuel hose. <laughs> both of them. Actually, all... F no, both of them. That's cool. They really did a lot of stuff here. Look at that. Even the ignition cables one by one. That's insane. How am I supposed to know what it is? I mean, yes, I'm supposed to be a train mechanic here, but... Uh, engine parts are damaged. Right. This camshaft doesn't look as good as the other one, but it is. Alright, let me just see. Maybe something's missing, but no, they wouldn't be missing. Uh, Alright, you know what? I'm gonna look for this off camera so I don't waste your time. Huh. Oh, well, that didn't take long. You know, I thought to myself, this cover for these four cylinders was kind of rusty and damaged, so I'm guessing that's a clue that there's something wrong underneath here. And as I was testing, this little thing, fuel hose connector, came up with 9%. Don't really know how you're supposed to see it at a glance, because, look, they're pretty much identical. Unless, of course, this one is bad as well. It is! What about that one? Oh, it is! <laughs> that's what threw me off. And this one, yep, 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 look, they're all rusty and these ones are fine. So that was the problem. There we go. All right. Well, we um, avoided a rather embarrassing situation. Right. We have to take these things off now. So let's take the fuel hoses off. There. All right. This comes off as well. And that one, of course. So it was uh, it was being underfueled. I'm guessing. And that's why I was losing power. Okay. That's that. Oh, let's go and try and repair these things. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's try and repair these things. So, mechanical, please. Valve cover. 100%. Nice. Very nice. We're still using money, of course, to repair this stuff. But, you know, it's much better. <laughs> 80 bucks to repair that. But we don't need to. Uh, fuel hose connector. That's... What? Is that supposed to be hydraulic? Why is that hydraulic? That's... Well, I guess, yeah. Fuel. Uh, right, 100%. And it's quite expensive. 1500 for that little piece. Wow. I cannot even imagine what the running costs of a train are. You know, the actual running costs. This must be pretty insane if you think about it. The manpower, the, uh... The entire thing, just maintenance. All right, so installation mode. Let's put these babies back to where they belong. Nice and shiny new ones now. Well, I mean refurbished, not new ones. Uh, let's put the fuel hoses back in. There. Actually, if you think about it, pretty tiny fuel hoses for such a huge engine. All right, there we go. Fuel hose. And then moving on to the last cylinder here. <laughs> a V16 engine. Ridiculous. And awesome. Uh, right, so now all that we need is the uh, valve covers. There we go. Where's the... Uh... Oh yeah, there it is. The 100%. Look at that. Perfect. And that's it. The engine should be alive once again. Uh, bonus for low cost. There we go. Oh, it's even telling us here that we're uh, gonna get the uh, low cost bonus. <clears throat> Sale of parts. I should probably really sell my parts. <laughs> no, I don't mean my kidneys. Uh, how do I do that? Let's see. Oh, I don't have anything. Oh, wait a second. It seems like it gets rid of the previous stuff. Hmm. Should be more careful about that. There it is. The only thing I kind of miss is the sound of the engines here. It would be nice if, you know, they actually... Well, maybe they don't start inside. I don't know. But there is plenty of ventilation. <clears throat> right. That was another job well done. Let's get another job. 
Well, let's repair that fan so it spins faster. Whoa! The residents of the city have reported to us that grey smoke is rising over one of the suburban stations. Find the cause of this phenomena. Well, that sounds like a blown turbo or anything. Although, I don't know if I've seen a turbo on these ones. Right, let's accept that. We have to go and get it. Because it's somewhere, well, not here. So I wonder what happened to it. I mean, could also be oil, you know, seeping um, into the pistons, which means usually a uh, head gasket failure. Suburban station D3. Oh, it's raining. Uh, so D3. So there somewhere. Pedal to the metal. That's really loud. I saw, I saw that on my, uh, on my own video. It's pretty loud. All right, so we want to go left here and then right. It's nice being able to drive a train and just switch the track for yourself. <clears throat> if you don't know about train track switching, I mean, as I said, I don't, uh, I don't uh, pretend to be an expert on this, but um, yeah, train drivers don't switch. Uh, rail tracks, I think, unless absolutely necessary, but it's all, you know, controlled from uh, from some kind of a control thing somewhere. Uh, I want to go left. Thank you. Alright. Wait, it's actually derailed. It's not a problem with the engine, it's derailed. Darn. Alright, let's uh, start using the crane. Oh yeah, I have to turn the camera. Uh, there we go. Gotta extend the boom here quite a bit. There we go. Ooh, it's actually fully extended. That's as far as I can go. Actually gotta bring it back a little bit. There we go. Press C. Now we need to lift it. Ooh. Probably not the best job I'm doing here, but hey. Alright, I don't want to smash it into the mountains over there. We need to bring it to the back. Towards the back here. I think I'll be fine. Oh man, that... Oh no. That pole will not be in the way, I think. We'll be fine. So I will need to extend the boom here. Otherwise we'll collide with our own train there. There we go. Alrighty. That looks pretty good. I'll need to rotate it a smidge. There we go. It's kind of bouncy. There we go. Alright, so now all we need to do is go in reverse. It's not telling me where we're going. Wait, what? No, 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 no. What? Is it just me or has it turned the train around for us? Yes, it has. How's that even possible? <laughs> yes, it's turned the train for us around. I like it. I like trains. I want to drive a train. Oh, the inner kid's coming out in me. Actually, that's not really uh, that's not really true because I am a kid. That's it. I'm never growing up. It's this bloody Range Rover here, S sitting at the uh, crossroads all the time. I don't know what they're trying to do. Maybe they're train spotters. You know, and just uh. Recording the trains. Right. More mechanic stuff coming up. But of course, we're going to do that next time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am enjoying playing it. I'm actually really surprised. This game is very polished, very stable, and a lot of fun. I'm really surprised by the quality. Um... But yeah, we're going to continue next time. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.